welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a dish that's inspired by my day job. Um, most of you may not know, but I'm a refugee case manager during the week, and I work with lots of refugees from all different countries. And this week I was helping an Iranian family, and I'm going to be making kebabs because they inspired me to make this. So let's get cooking. Start by soaking your skewers so they don't burn while you're cooking the meat. I've had mine soaking for about 10 or 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and make the marinade. Get some olive oil. I have some grated onion and I squeeze the juice out of the onion and then I have some grated garlic in here. Get some lime zest in here. I'm going to cut this lime. Get some lime juice in with the marinade. Touch of turmeric. Be careful while you're cooking with turmeric because it really stains your clothes. Use an apron, unlike me. Some paprika. I have some saffron that my brother-in-law, who's Iranian, gave me. I soak some in warm water. If you don't have saffron, you don't have to worry about it. Also, you can use any spice that you want. Thyme and rosemary will do fine with salt and pepper. Crack an egg. It will keep the kebabs together. Give that all a mix. It's starting to smell amazing. Don't forget the salt and pepper. Pepper. Some salt. Now you can add your beef. You can use chicken pieces, lamb would be amazing, or just beef pieces as well. But I'm using ground beef. I'm gonna mix that all in. You can serve the kebab with rice. Today I'm going to be serving it with veggies. Cut the ends of your zucchini, then cut it in half, and then just cut it up and down, maybe make three pieces. I've talked about this before, to avoid getting the seeds of your pepper all over the counter, just cut up and down, and then just watch where your knife is going. We're going to skewer the tomatoes, so make sure you cut it into larger pieces or else it will fall apart. Alright, lay the zucchini flat. We're going to bake it all on the same baking sheet. I'm adding flour to my kebab mix. You can add breadcrumbs or crushed up crackers. It will help it stick together and also it will absorb some of the moisture. Time to get your hands dirty. All right, skewer the meat, then the pepper, and then some meat. And then we're ready to broil it. Make sure to add some salt and pepper on your zucchini before placing it in the oven. Drizzle of olive oil. Place this in the oven until it's golden brown. This is totally optional. I'm making some sauce for the zucchini. Got some cilantro, a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt, lime juice, honey for sweetness, pepper, give that a quick blend and your sauce is ready. Make sure you flip the zucchini and your kebab so it cooks evenly. Garnish it with some of the cilantro lime sauce and it's ready to be served. Good thing to me every day. Um, can I go back to this? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. We're really stopping the video shoot so you can take pictures. Mm -hmm. 